Hello, I'd like to share a wee video of how to stitch together your finished panels for my In The Groove cushion. I've worked both panels and I've sewn in the ends. Well, actually, I'll show you quickly how I've done that. I have just knotted together the two colours. Here we go, that's it there. That's my wee knot. And then I've gone along on the inside, maybe a couple of centimetres. Um, two and a half, three centimetres. I haven't bothered doubling back because this is going to be on the inside and you just won't see it. And it also it won't get as much rough and tumble as it maybe if it was on a blanket or a garment. So I'm quite happy just going through the once. That'll catch it. And I finish them fairly close so that they don't end up, that one's maybe a bit long, <laughs> uh, poking through onto the right side. So I've got my two panels. And I've put them, this is the wrong side, you can see the gaps between the spikes are a bit bigger and you can see more of a, a V, I suppose, on the, to the middle there, a V on the, the wrong side. So that's your wrong side. Pop them together and the right side, you can see the spikes. <laughs> it goes train. And you can see the spikes are a bit longer and there's no gap in the middle between them and you can see that there and I've also lined up my panels so that I have the spikes going that way on one side and that way on the other and like I say this is the how to crochet them together video I've done a video as well how to sew them together if that's more your thing and um, you can have a look at them both and see which method you prefer so I'm going to start in the corner got my panels together and we're going to go through uh, the one nearest you and the one furthest away. We've got our yarn, the same yarn I used for the cushions, just choose your favourite colour. And then we're going to pull through and chain one and go back through that one. So back through those two loops and do a double crochet. This is UK terms, so a single crochet for US terms. So there, already we've joined the corner and I'd like to go along it and work two stitches per colour. So we're going to go into this bit here and we're going also into the blue, probably through that bit there. Yarn over and over again. So now we're going to move on to the second colour and go through there and through the darker purple, pull up a loop, yarn over through them both again. Another one on the lilac, through there. And as long as you're consistent and go through the same piece each time, it doesn't really matter whether, actually I'll show you in a different colour because this is dark. I'll show you on the next panel, next panel. The next um, next stripe. As long as you're consistent and go through the same, see I'm always going to go through that one, but I could always go through that one. So as long as I'm consistent the whole way along, it really won't matter. When you sort of chop and change between them, that's when it can start to look a bit messy. So here's where I was trying to choose on the, the darker purple, whether to go through this one or that one. I think I'm always going to go for that outer one. There. So if I pull my hook, have a wee look and see. Yeah, that's fairly neat. It's sitting flat on the back. Yeah, I like it on the back as well. Um, so that that's all there is to it. Just carry on like that, working two stitches in each colour all the way along. And you don't need to worry because it's a stripe you don't need to worry about ending up maybe with a, a buckled piece like this like you maybe would in a self-colored item or something with not so obvious stripes because if you keep working two on this side and two on that side you will they will even out and you will um, find yourself at the, the right spot when you get to the end and then when you do get to the end it's going to be easy peasy because you'll be going through either of the chains 
on this side or even easier the top of the stitches on that side and if you just again because you know that both panels are the same number of stitches it'll work out evenly right the way to the end if for whatever reason you do find yourself with say three left on this side and two on the other just work a, a decrease you know i wouldn't bother ripping it back like that it will not be seen work a decrease a couple of stitches from the end and nobody will ever see it and if you want to get creative once you've gone all the way around you could then do maybe a, a shell stitch into here or some picots you know working um, chain three and then um, a double crochet into the, the first one you did and then a couple into here and then another pico you could do that or you could even <laughs> reverse and go crab stitch and um, all the way back along once this is once you've done you know, all the way around and you've joined it together you pop pop your cushion in you <laughs> don't forget to do that <laughs> when you've done three sides and um, pop your cushion in and then complete that side and then once you've done that you could um, do anything fancy that you wished. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions just drop them in the comments below or you know you can contact me on Instagram marta.mitchell.designs and I'm there if you need me just drop into my DMs. Thank you for watching and happy cushion making!